Since being elected Rhode Island's Lieutenant Governor in 2014, I have stood up for all Rhode Islanders, regardless of where they live, where they were born, or what they look like. From public schools to the opioid crisis to electric rate increases, I've taken on the biggest corporations and special interests when they try to take advantage of you. There are 39 cities and towns in our beautiful state and everyone, everyone's important and everyone who lives in those communities is important. I've traveled the state of Rhode Island multiple times, just as I did in the campaign. I've met with businesses throughout the state. I've been on farm tours, manufacturing tours, I've been on restaurant tours. Meeting with business the community, the small business community, who has been forgotten in this state till I showed up at the State House. As a small business person myself, I know the risks, hard work, and determination it takes to open and run a small business. We need to support our small businesses. They provide the jobs that our communities need, and we're going to continue to do that. And rightfully, those businesses are concerned of being victimized by bad policy uh, that gets the good headlines. Those easy things to say, but hard to deliver on. I tell you, if the math doesn't work, we cannot uh, support policies where that hurts our community rather than helps our community. Politics at its best is bringing people together to celebrate our victories and solve real problems. The groups that are here tonight don't all look alike. We don't agree on every issue, but what brings us together is that we want what is best for our home state of Rhode Island.